at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Tennessee Titans. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now the first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, to me, that's taking a big gamble defensively because that alignment you see, that's normally something you see down near the goal line because now if they decide to go play action, Something should be open there, and I think open big. So maybe that's something that gets filed away for later. I think without a doubt, you write it down, and if you see that look at a later date, go ahead and take your shot. On second and seven, Tannehill. And he finds Corey Davis, and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 12 yards there and a first down. down Tennessee. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain of eight. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down. It's Henry, and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Now these two teams, of course, the Titans and Ravens, met in the postseason a year ago, and, and really along with the Titans win the previous week in Foxborough, it was one of the shockers of the postseason. The Titans a sixth seed on the road. The Ravens, they were the top seed, riding a 12-game win streak and coming off the first round bye, but... Well, that game was all Tennessee. They led 28-6 at one point, ultimately winning 28-12 and sending them on to the AFC title game in Kansas City. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw remember quarterbacks got to get rid of it they don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore the open man is smith and he will have a titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion great way to convert on third down there 21 yards the play from the 13 now they work on first and 10. back to the ground now it's henry He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Brandon, in all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A toss right to Henry. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. To throw is Tannehill. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. 
at 31 yards and down. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. The and the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it. And Looking into the raindrops, and he muffs it. Now a hit and a loose football. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. And now he's going to use his legs. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And that is caught by Davis for a Tennessee touchdown. Corey Davis. Corey Davis, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Steven Goskowski. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Harold Landry credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. After the sack on first down, Jackson. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And 13. Jackson from the shotgun. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. Looking left side. Andrews with it complete. 20. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Jackson will throw again. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of the Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. 
J.K. Dobbins, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Ravens draw a bit closer. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Their own 26-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Under pressure, and he's going to go down. Tannehill sacked. Tyus Bowser with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. At their own that is line. how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Kenny Vaccaro. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. At the 41-yard line. First down carry for Henry. And he's into the clear. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Green to bring it back. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 43 yards on the ground. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. 
Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. A quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Nicole Hardman with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Ravens have cut it to within a score. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And the lead is down to two. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Titans take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Second and 10, Tannehill once more. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Calais Campbell in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They're in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little bit, but they seem to have stayed the course and really righted the ship here in the second. Let's face it, all the preparation that goes into getting ready for a game, all the scouting reports, the practice, the repetition, sometimes you get a little bit of a lull to start things off. Maybe you get a little flat, but if you put in that time, you put in that effort, it can come back to you, and that's what we're seeing so far. Now can they keep that momentum going? And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. The yard brings up third and seven. Now it's Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Jeffrey Simmons. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time, and it'll be Titan football. At their own 40-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. 
as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch just one yard, making it third and nine. Under pressure and down he goes. The Titans gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Play action. Now Jackson sliding out of the pocket. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Jonathan Joseph there on the coverage. Hamler, incomplete. Brings up third down. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 10 yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. For a Baltimore Raven. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. He'll go up top here for Hamler. This is caught inside the 15. And they're going to have this all the way down deep into Tennessee Town. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Green to bring it back. He spins free. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Over first and 10 at their own 16-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 37 yards. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. Dobbins hit, and he fumbles. It's picked up by the Titans. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. Henry, the Titan. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, 
shut it down for two yards or less, that's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tannehill finding Davis for a Titan first down. Now Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. A solid stiff arm. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Derrick Henry. That's good for 28 yards. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now on second and 13, Tannehill. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Calais Campbell, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. Tannehill now to throw. And he will find Davis, that's complete. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for four. It brings up fourth down. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Open man is Davis. He's got it for the Tennessee touchdown. Corey Davis. Corey Davis with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. Goskowski the extra point. And that makes this a nine-point game. Ravens 14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Green to bring it back. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? They go play action with Jackson on the move to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Play action. It's Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target, and it's third down. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Jackson. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 
That third down conversion, good for 23. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. They go play action now. Jackson rolling to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. To throw again, Jackson. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Pass the 20. Throw left side complete. That's Andrews. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. First and 10. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower? And he'll take it into the end zone for a race. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. And the lead is down to two. Makes the score Titans 23, Ravens 21. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. Back now in Baltimore. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it, and it's picked up by the Ravens. And this is going to be brought back for a ball. And a big turning point here in the second half, Charles, after that play. All you're trying to do is change momentum, flip things around for your team. You're just trying to take the ball away. How about when you take it away and score? That really changes things. Extra point, hung the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And the lead is up to five. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Titans take over first and 10. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. But the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 38 yards on the scamper there. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. Derrick Henry. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. The tackle is made by Adore Jackson. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It's only a three-yard run, 
But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 33. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. First down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Tannehill. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. At the Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Tannehill. Incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field is popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. The Titans on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. To the air again, Tannehill. Oh, he can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run. It's Henry going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. Derrick Henry denied here on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Taken Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. Jayon Brown coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. This is Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, it's Henry. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The tackle made back at his 48-yard line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And down by five, they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. And that is 
is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. They'll run on first down. Dobbins. And he's got this down to the 35. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. This is Hamler on the receiving end. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. At the Titans 25-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not to write things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. On first and 10, Tannehill. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. That'll bring up second down. A keep to leave on the coverage. Out of the gun, Tannehill. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Tannehill throwing again. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. Fortunate to get that football back. His trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Here we go on four. Tannehill. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. Score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. The Ravens take over first and ten. 
at the 41-yard line. After the interception, here's Jackson. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Incomplete. He was covered by... Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again, Jackson. Back to Brown this time. 